Hello everyone and welcome to the 12th video in the uh, thermodynamics video series for Engineer Tomorrow. Um, today what I want to focus on discussing is quality and interpolation. And these are two, uh, thing, two tools you can use when you're analyzing property tables in the back of a thermodynamics book to determine uh, the properties you may need. You know, sometimes the table doesn't necessarily give you the values you want, so these tools will help you find the values that you actually want. So, first of all, I want to introduce the concept of quality. So quality is known as the uh, ratio of mass of a vapor in your system over mass total. Okay, so to have quality, you need to be somewhere within the vapor dome, which we have seen in previous videos. So let's say you're somewhere around over here. Okay, and this mass total term is the mass of the fluid plus mass of the gas or vapor. Okay, so using this term, you can determine uh, other values. So usually in your, in your table, as you can see below, okay, you're giving the properties of the fluid, saturated liquid, and the saturated gas. So what if you want to determine, you know, when you have a location somewhere in here? So, if you want to know that, you can use the quality. So, it turns out that quality is also equal to the ratio of um, the, internal the average internal energy you have minus the internal energy of the fluid divided by the internal energy of the gas minus the internal energy of the fluid. Okay, and that is also equal to the enthalpy average minus the enthalpy of the fluid divided by the oh, sorry about that enthalpy of the fluid and the enthalpy of the gas minus the enthalpy of the fluid. Okay, and that is also equal to the ratio of the specific volume whatever you have. I call this AB because it's the average minus the specific volume of the fluid divided by the specific volume of the gas minus the specific volume of the fluid. Okay, that's X. Okay, so say you are giving, you're given the internal energy this position over here, or you're given the specific volume of this position over here. Using the property tables, you can actually go back, find what the specific uh, volume and the specific, the specific volume of the fluid and the specific volume of the gas saturated form actually are, and then determine this value or this value, or maybe you want to use entropy as well. And you can you can use that tool to find that as well. So let's go through a scenario. So say we're given uh, a quality of a. So say we're given the conditions. Our temperature is fifty degrees Celsius. Okay, and our uh, our pressure is equal to point one two three five bar. Okay, so we're in this location right here. Okay, and you know that your quality, okay, based on the masses they give you, is going to be 0. 0.5. Okay, and you want to uh, to determine what your uh, your internal energy of your system actually is. So, using the relationship we discussed above this relationship right here along with the tables then you can say that your u average is equal to u of the fluid plus x times u of the gas minus u of the fluid. Okay so this value you can get from right here This x term, we know because it's over here. 
Okay, and then this this term right here we get just from subtracting this value from this value or this value from this value. Okay, so we also have that. So since we have all these values, we can actually determine what this is. Okay, so if the if the question was phrased differently, so say you wanted to know your specific volume, you just replace your specific volume average over here, your specific volume of fluid, specific volume of the gas, specific volume of the fluid. You would be able to determine what those values are using the tables. Okay. So finally, <coughs> excuse me. What I wanted to discuss is interpolation. Okay. Interpol interpolation is often used. So let's say you have something that is at 53 degrees Celsius. Okay, but you only have values for 50 and 55 degrees Celsius. Okay, and you know the internal energies um, of those values or, you know, the, you know, the enthalpies of those values. So for this case, let's use, um, say you wanted to know the saturated liquid internal energy. Okay, so for 50, or 50 and 55, you say here 209 and 230. Okay, so this is 209, 230. And you want to know, find, use F of, you know, of your scenario. Okay, so the way you do that is you say, okay, well, what's the ratio that I have over here? So you say 53 degrees C minus 50 degrees C divided by 55 minus 50 degrees C. Okay, so this is the maximum change you can get, and this is the current the change you actually get. Okay, so. You, you're going to know that this is going to be equal to your U fluid. Okay, it's going to be that same ratio going on over here. So that minus 209 divided by 230 minus 209. Okay, and since you have all these values, you can extract what this value actually is. You just do the manipulation, the mathematical manipulation of this. Okay, and then you can apply that for other values. So as long as you know, uh, so this value, this value, this value from the tables, um, and you have a given value that is in the tables as well, you can find the other values as well, given that the conditions um, remain the same. So I hope that was helpful. These are some really good tools you can use if you have if you're given tables and only provided with limited information for your system, uh, maybe you need to know the enthalpy or the specific volume of something for your analysis, you can use these tools to determine those values. So I hope that was helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.